time management is not a problem for me in any way whatsoever. It's probably one of my strongest suits. So uh, to, to give you an idea of my day, I wake up early, really early, like 5 a.m. Between 5 and 7 a.m. is me time. That's where I do the stuff I want to do. So that's where I'm going to write a marketing promotion or that's where I'm going to read a book I want to read. Or that's where recently, especially coming up to Christmas, it's been watch a movie I want to watch that nobody else wants to watch, right? So it just depends. But my mornings for me, if I've got like a, a, when we had this promotion on Thursday, the one I was telling you about, my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, but five to seven was working on that, right? So that's when that happens. Seven o'clock is when my children wake up. My oldest is 12, nearly 13. And all my kids have farm chores. So they wake up at seven, crack of dawn, well, not really, but close enough, to go and do farm chores, look after the animals and do everything. So I go back home at seven to make sure my kids are up and doing everything they want. While they're doing that, I slowly wake up the little kids and I sit and snuggle to them. So my two-year-old and me will watch TV in the morning, watch some kind of cartoon. Um, I'm blessed that I've been able to get him into anime as opposed to just constantly watching you know, Pixar movies, which is good. Um, but sometimes we end up watching Pixar movies just depending on how he feels. So then we'll hang out with the kids. Now, the kids have a hierarchy of age where they prepare each other's breakfast. So at wow. this point, the two older ones prepare food for the three little ones. And, um, you know, we have a pretty good say over it. The food tends to be mostly healthy. We stay away from breakfast foods as best we can. And so um, eight o'clock is when uh, our nanny comes in. We have a, a full-time nanny. We actually have two nannies. So our full-time nanny comes in at eight. And at eight, till nine, I still hang out with the kids. I don't just go, okay, see you later, kids. What I do is I allow the nanny to help with some of the cleaning and, and tidying up after breakfast and doing that stuff. Well, I still bond with the kids. So I'll hang out with them. I'll eat my breakfast with them. Um, the, that's the, the nanny will often make me breakfast as well, which is really cool. Uh, my breakfast tends to be a little bit more complicated than the kids because obviously all the foods and everything that I do. So that makes it really cool. Nine o'clock is when work starts. I come to the office. I sit down and I work from nine to 9.45 is my time in the office where I'll tidy up anything I haven't done. Um, I'll sometimes have a meeting uh, with my vice president, uh, who's also my wife. And so we'll sit down and we, we do work talk then to keep work out of the bedroom, right? So that's when we're going to have that. 9.45 to 10.45, we have uh, a stand-up company meeting. I don't run it. I turn up at the beginning, say some inspiring words, and I get out of it, let them handle the KPIs. It's another hour of uninterrupted work. What I'm getting at is my morning has three to four hours of uninterrupted work when nobody can bother me, no staff, no kids, no nothing. And I've already spent two hours hanging out with my children in the morning. So that six hours of the day right there, and we're not even at noon. From 10.45 until five, that's when my other children demand all my time and that's my staff. That's where I'm answering questions. I'm going to interviews, I'm coaching, I'm, I'm helping companies, I'm, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I have a hard stop at five o'clock. I, I literally had somebody try and book me on a podcast today at five. And I, I like explained to everybody what I thought about that because it's not happening because my kids have a Christmas party they're going to at 6 p.m. Uh, I mentioned earlier, we own a retail store. The retail store is having a pizza Christmas party and I'm taking my kids to the Christmas party and nothing is going to stop me. I don't care how famous this person is. They're pretty famous, um, but it's not happening because my kids come first. Um, so from five o'clock until nine is kids time. That's where we watch movies together. We play video games. We, uh, I've been coloring with my daughter recently. Like that's when we're going to do all that stuff. So my kids get, again, another four hours of dedicated dad time. I'll cook, I, I cook food in the evening. We don't have the chef do that. So I'll cook special food. I usually cook my wife something that's like phenomenal because she's really into my cooking. She actually prefers my cooking to restaurants. So I'll, I'll like really go all out. I'll do like a, what I do the other day. I made a, a homemade um, butternut squash risotto. Um, with steamed mussels uh, that I steamed in a in like a and then added a tomato sauce to it, right? So so like completely from scratch, cooked food. At nine o'clock, all the young kids go to bed. We have nighttime routine. Um, I put my daughter to bed. Um, my my wife puts the two young boys to bed. Um, they uh, my wife's Russian, so she speaks Russian to the two boys and, and teaches them Russian. My daughter's not as interested in Russian, so we sit and we do nursery rhymes or whatever that we do. At nine p.m., it's adult time. And so from nine until midnight, I or to 11, depending, me and my wife hang out. We watch movies. We do adult stuff. The older boys are awake, but they're in their room playing video games and, and doing whatever it is that they want to do. Um, that's when we'll have friends come over and visit, you know, come over at 830. You know, they'll be around so like, as we put the kids to bed. And then the next day it starts again. And that's what we do Monday through Friday. It's the same pattern. It's the same routine. I do two 15-minute workouts on a Monday and a Thursday that I do in the middle of the workday just after lunch. 
uh, a little bit later in the month, but you get the idea. Saturday, every other Saturday is a work day, but it's only a half day. And I explained before, because we know that we make the most money at noon on a Saturday. So every other Saturday, we'll do some kind of promotion, make a whole bunch of cash. Sunday, no work whatsoever, purely for kids or for friends, socializing and that's it. And that's the, that's the routine. And we stick to it all day, every day, no change. 